What's up guys, JR Raymond back again, and this time I'm going to Classic Lanes over to MRB Classic Pro Shop. We're going to drill a ball, I'm going to show you a couple of different releases, and we're going to slow them down. Remember I made a video about how to change your hand position and how to create different ball rolls by thinking of the clock. So this video is going to slow it down a little bit so you can see some things there. But first, let's do a giveaway. Dexter wants to give away a pair of the brand new whereabouts that came out. Uh, they are the street shoe. They are not a bowling shoe, they're a street shoe shoe. They're a shoe you wear every day. They have the leather and the fabric version. So here are some images. You can take a look and be able to see which one you would like and be able to get your size in those. There's going to be a link in the description. So pay attention, go to the description below this video and click the link to be able to enter that contest. This time you don't have to have Facebook, you don't have to have YouTube, you don't have to have any of that. Well, I guess you'd have to have YouTube to be able to watch this video. But you don't have to have any of the other social media platforms. You can enter at any time by clicking the link below. So stay tuned, we're going to talk about those releases. So when we made that video before, we talked about how you could change the clock. You could change your hand based on where the clock was to be able to change the way your ball rolls. And this right here is proof that it actually works. I know I showed you video before. Uh, it was basically just kind of a sped up video with bad quality that showed you where you needed to be with your hand. But this shows you exactly how it happens in full motion, but it's slowed down to where you can see what my hand does at the bottom. So this first one that you're gonna see here is gonna be that rolly, real end over end type of release. I tried to stay in the same part of the lane so that way you could see the difference through the front part of the lane and see the ball roll a little bit differently. But this first one is that probably in between that 11, the 12 o'clock, uh, where your thumb exits the ball. You can see the finger straight behind it, the thumb exits forward, uh, and then uh, you can see that's really, really forward roll. And so that's gonna be something you use when you wanna control the pattern, when you really don't want the ball to hook over, over hook or over, over have too much angle down lane, um, where you could use it on a shorter pattern, where you could play further right and control the pattern itself and get the ball to control and blend the pattern a little bit better. So then we move on to what I call close to like a 45 degree release, which is more of like your A game release, what your A game should be. Because remember I told you, I only believe you can comfortably change your, uh, your rotation by about 30 either way. Okay, uh, without having to, you know, put yourself in an uncomfortable position. So when you're at 45 degrees, you should pretty easily and comfortably and consistently be able to get your rotation to go up to about 75 or 80. And then you can get it to go down below 20 at the same time. So that gives you that wide variance to where, you know, if you're at 10 degrees and you have to get your ball to come around the corner hard and you need to get your rotation up to 70 degrees. If your A, ro A rotation is at 10 degrees, it's really hard to change a rotation by 70 degrees without putting yourself in an uncomfortable position and making it where you can't repeat the shot. So your goal should be to get somewhere in between that 35 to 55 degree range with your axis rotation. Uh, so that way it's easy to manipulate. But you could see the ball roll where my thumb exits here. My thumb exits at about, we'll call it 10 o'clock clock, maybe even, uh, yeah, just right at about 10 o'clock, I think it is, to where your thumb exits out of the ball, uh, your fingers start to rotate around the side just a little bit. And then we move on to uh, what I call almost like a spin. It's not really a spin, it's just a high rotation. So we are trying to get our thumb to exit close to 9 o'clock. So when we get that thumb out, you can see our fingers rotate around the side of the ball and really get to the side, away from that 6 o'clock range, and then the thumb actually exits closer to 9 o'clock and you get your hand to rotate rotate through the side of the ball with your fingers the way it's shown here. So you're going to use these different releases in a variety of different ways. You're going to use them for, uh, like I said, with the straighter release, that more 12 o'clock release or 11 and a half release, you're going to use that playing straighter most times. As you move left, you get into the middle of the lane, uh, if anywhere from 15 to 25, you're going to use that 45 to 55 degree uh, angle. And then when you get into deeper parts of the lane, you're gonna to have to get your hand around it a lot more. You're gonna go up into that 65 to 
you know, 80 or 90 degree axis rotation to get the ball to go through the pins. So I hope these videos help. Remember that in the link in the description, you can go for your chance to win a pair of the whereabouts. Uh, thank you to Dexter for everything they do for this channel and for me uh, to be able to keep this channel going. So uh, click the link in the description, get yourself a pair of whereabouts, and uh, we will see you guys later. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs>